Hey there, how are you? Can you please introduce us to the new uh, equipment that the DW is introducing this year. Sure, well thanks for having me first off. Um, at the show we're introducing our new version of our 5000 pedal. Our 5000 chain pedal is our most popular pedal that we've created over the years and we've done some changes to it for this year so let me show you what we've done. The first thing that we've done is we've added basically here a, uh, a dual spring rocker. So previously if you look at the bottom here, this was affixed and now it's got a, a bearing inside here so it pivots. So it takes a little bit more off of the resistance of the pedal, a little smoother. So that's one of the changes that we made. Second change that we made is a very big change and that is that we now have a tri-pivot hoop clamp system. So no longer do you have to worry about making a, a, a additional adjustments. Literally one screw here on the side takes care of everything and there's, there's literally pivoting pads here that help you to center the, help you to center the hoop on the uh, bass drum. So that's a big change. And then lastly, and my favorite change, is the fact that we've taken off Velcro on the bottom of the pedal. Velcro, as you know, will, 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 is a great way to stick to the carpet, but then you got to yank it up. So you put a full rubber skid plate on the bottom. You still have no issues with creeping, but at the same time, it's really easy to, to take off and up and off the, off the ground. So this is our, our, our most popular pedal ever, and we made some real nice changes to it for, for 2012. So basically, it's most, more, more functional and smooth right now yeah? you bet you bet it's uh, absolutely a dual chain drive um, again uh, 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 very smooth um, great recoil on the pedal and now even a little bit smoother with and it. does it only come in single pedal or no we have a double pedal version of it right down here so yeah we do have uh, we do have this change is across the board on this series pedal right. Okay, what we're looking at over here, this is our, this is the flagship of our line. This is called the DW Collector Series Drums. And in DW Collector Series, basically the possibilities or what you want to get with your drums are unlimited. It, these drums in many cases are made literally for your order. So if you want to have a design, if you want to have particular paint color, if you want to have particular stain color, you would literally go into your, into your music store and to your dealer and talk about what you want to get on the drum and we'll manufacture that drum set just for you. And is that your highest quality product? It is our highest quality product and in this case what you're seeing here is one of our newer shell type materials and this is called maple mahogany. So what you have is a maple core drum, maple on the inside and mahogany on the outer, on the outer plies of the drum. What that produces is a straight maple shell will have a a big warm sound and it'll be long and resonant when you add the when you add the when you add the mahogany to the drum in this case when you add mahogany it it shortens the it shortens the resonance but it's very big and round and very earthy sounding so it's a new shell that we came out with in 2011 showing it here at the show at 2012 and has gotten a great response and what about the price of this beauty oh they these range anywhere from a couple of thousand dollars for a smaller set to you can have one for thirty thousand dollars in your wildest dream so and do you have any famous drum players playing already those sets sure we do um, some european artists would be uh, thomas lang uh, very famous kind of drum educator um, in the united states some of our flagship artists would be people like uh, neil Peart from rush um, uh, the gentleman who plays, uh, I mean, you, you name it, we have a, we have a who's who of, of artists who play our stuff. If you watch uh, the, Bruce, uh, the Bruce Springsteen band, they play our drums. Um, uh, several artists, uh, you know, uh, several high profile artists in the world play our stuff. And what music genre do you feel that most uh, drum players feel good with playing DW? That, that's, a, that's a great question and what I would say is we're across the board. We have everything from very legitimate jazz players, Peter Erskine, uh, world famous jazz drummer. He plays our jazz series drums, which are a different shell composition for DW. Uh, and then you go to the rock world, and as I said, Neil Peart. And then you go to the fusion world, and people like Thomas Lang or Marco Minimum uh, in, in that fusion world. And then you go to the you go to the R and B or the rap world, and Tony Reister Jr., who plays with people like Jay Z. He plays our drums, so we cover a very wide spectrum, but that's because the drums that we produce are very versatile for all music situations. Okay, we talked downstairs a little bit about the shells and the difference that you can get in the DW Collector series of drums. 
this is an example of, of what a raw shell would look like um, before, it's, before it's lacquered or stained and then becomes a finished product. In this case, we have a jazz shell, which is our maple gum combination. That's the materials that are in this particular shell. This will, with die cast hoops, okay, which is again something that is an accoutrement on the drum, this will give the old sound that you get with jazz, jazz music, and that's what some of the jazz players prefer. So again, a different color, different tone of drum. This is a very interesting drum because what this is, is this is a super solid drum. Basically what it is, is one piece of wood that has been um, steam bent into one piece. Most drums are made out of very thin plies of wood. This is one piece of wood that gets steamed and then bent and then you can see there's a little bit of a there's a joint here and it gets rolled up and then basically clipped and that becomes a super solid shell one piece so pretty unique that's probably good for rock musicians isn't yeah it? well the, you know it's very versatile drum but it gives a little bit different color a different tone to the instrument that you're playing so it's very nice <laughs> lastly what we're looking at here is about two years ago we wanted to service a segment of the market that we couldn't do with the DW custom drums, just too expensive to produce. So we came out with a line called the Performance Series Drums. These are made in California, but they're made production style, meaning that we make several drums or several drum sets at one time with, with regards to the finishes. Very, very high quality, all maple shell, um, made in California, as I said. and. The, the, the introduction or the acceptance by the market has been phenomenal on this product. We have, we've sold many, many, many drum sets and it's opened up a, a, a level of player who might not be able to buy our collector series drum sets. How long have you been manufacturing those? Uh, about, we came out with it about, about a year and a half ago and the response has been unbelievable. I mean, we have, you know, just... A, 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 a lot of orders for the product, and right. it's going great. And what about the price? Yeah, uh, prices um, prices started under two thousand dollars U.S. So that again is a price point that typically on the DW branded side we were not able to attain. So we were very happy to be able to serve that customer who wanted to play a DW set, and and we're able to do that. So let's see that yeah. reward. And lastly, um, this award came to us from Drumheads uh, for the DW Performance Series set as as uh, the best pro drum set basically uh, in, in its category. So we were real happy to receive that. Right. Thank you very much for this interview and thank you. See you around. Thank you.